Hi, my name is Jonas and today we will show you our brand new campus here at 42 Berlin. Das Internet ist für uns alle Neuland. A lot has happened since we opened the school in April 2022 and many people have joined the 42 Berlin team. We already organized two piscines with a bunch of amazing talents and most importantly we had a good time along the way. This video focuses on our building, its history and all the questions we receive from you about this place. If you have no idea about 42 Berlin, I recommend you to start here. Okay, Jungs, wir müssen jetzt einmal kurz Ruhe haben. <laughs> As you can imagine, this place had a different purpose over 100 years ago. So, let's start at the beginning. You know what to do. Where do we go from here? The Geierwerke, as this building is called, has a legendary status in the Berlin film history. Its founder, Karl August Geier, was an engineer and started the Kino Kopiergesellschaft MBH in 1911. The company was dedicated exclusively to what we would call today's technical post-production of movies. Only three employees worked at the first headquarter in today's Sonnallee. But it quickly became too small and two years after its founding, the company bought an industrial building, you might have guessed it, here at Harzer Straße. The Geierwerke AG, as the company has been called since 1926, reached the status of the largest post-production company in Germany, despite the First World War, economic crises and inflation during the 1920s. In 1927, the new Geierwerke building was constructed with four floors and over 10,000 square meters of floor space. In the 2000s, international successes such as the Matrix trilogy were fine-tuned behind these walls. And if you are a fan, of Babylon Berlin, you might have recognized this place from its set. But after the turn of the millennium, sales continued to fall and in 2013 the company filed for bankruptcy. 102 years after the company was founded and 75 years after this building was constructed. Today this building has a new purpose and in a few years more than 600 software developers will be able to study here. Let's go inside. Welcome. This will be our new office for the 42 Berlin School. Right now it's the 1st of April and everything is under construction. I hope by the time you will see this video it will look completely different. There will be the reception over here, the kitchen on the right. Of course a lot of table to have uh, lunch together, breakfast together. In the end there is a room I don't fully understand yet. Max came up with another crazy idea. This is the heart of 42, man. Yeah, let's see what happens in two months. This will be the auditorium. We have space for, I hope, 70, 80, 90 people. Basically the room for all our talks. And in the end, we will have some smaller clusters with like six and nine people. And this one is the space for the vocal team. And you will always find us there. Alright, so this will be one of our two main clusters in the fourth floor. We are planning to have around 60 computers here. I, I have to agree, you have such a nice blick <laughs> view over Neukölln. The problem is a bit, once you're standing, you kind of don't see over the window. So we need to find a way to let all students have the option to uh, enjoy the beauty, the sundowner and maybe the sunrise for the early birds. This is the second cluster on the top floor. Roughly 40 computers in this room. Small kitchen there to provide the students with a coffee and some snacks. In four, five, six months, we know more. <laughs> Yeah, not sure if this will be ready on time. The 
So right now it's uh, the middle of June, two weeks before the first piscine is starting. We are setting up a lot of computers last minute because of some supply chain issues. Yesterday we were configuring all the computers here, running different scripts to set them up with the right software. We all hope it's ready by the first piscine. And yeah, let's uh, see some pictures. See some pictures? See some, I uh, think. Servus. All right, let's uh, check it out. It's relatively hectic here as well. But. So listen, we've just been super busy setting up this whole space, getting the computers ready. So you can see behind you, it's still very much a work in progress. There's still quite a bit to do, lots of cabling to do. Repainted all the walls, so it's a blank canvas, ready to be used by all the students that are going to be here. So we've had a, a few delays with the servers, and it should be Chris telling you about this really, because he's the, he's the one who's been like suffering the most from it. We recently got our uh, new gigabit internet. Uh, up until now, we've just been running on like a, a Fritzbox router, which is not the best of see if you want to have like 200 students inside of your school. We had a few issues actually with the, uh, with the server room. There was a flood, so there was actually water coming through the ceiling inside of the server room. And so we called up the, the house for Velto and the people who, who look after the space and they repainted the ceiling. And then we came back after the weekend and there was water in it again. So obviously we couldn't have the servers in there because that would have been super stupid. So we moved the server room to somewhere else. Pretty much what's been happening. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's work in progress, a bit chaotic, but Excited, yeah. <laughs>
Are visitors allowed? Yes, we encourage you to spread the word of 42 Berlin and visitors are always allowed on campus as long as they arrive between the opening hours which is from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Are dogs allowed? Well, what do you know? The dogs are definitely allowed on campus. This is Max, the school mascot and you'll be able to meet him as well. Thanks for stopping by. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you have any more questions that you'd like us to answer, please just comment in the comment section down below. And me and Max will see you real soon. Bye.